there, good looking. Welcome. Are you looking for a quick cardio workout that uses some dumbbells so that you also work strength? Awesome, then you are in the right place. Hey, today's workout is a dumbbell to bat a workout. So grab yourself a pair of light or moderate dumbbells depending on where you are in your fitness journey. And then before we go any further, have you subscribed to the channel? Why not? You're breaking my heart. Don't break my heart. Please, subscribe. <laughs> Let's go work out. Hello there. Hey, welcome. I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com and I help women over the age of 40 reclaim the tush of their 20s. Hey, I've been a personal trainer for 25 years now, a very long time, and I'm 50 years myself. So I'm well aware that as we get older, we need slightly different options with our workouts, and that's why I started this channel. So thank you so much for joining me. And if you're under 40, that's okay. We'll let you in, youngster. All right, now I forgot to mention too, you will need a chair for this workout. So something that you can do tricep dips off of. So a chair or a sturdy coffee table. You might even be able to do it off the couch. See how that works. All right, let's get warmed up. Feet apart, give me some big arm circles, starting with the shoulders. Abs engaged for me. So I've split this to bat up. So we've got two moves that will alternate for a total of eight rounds. You will work dumbbells, you will work core, you will work legs, you will work upper body. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna hit it all. Last three, two, one. All right, alternating reverse lunge. Bring the arms up so we get the shoulders involved again. Back shoulder and hip aligned, front knee and ankle aligned. Are you able to keep those arms straight so we're moving to the shoulder joint, not the elbows? Yes. We're gonna have a good time with this workout. It's short and sweet. And then we're done. Those are kind of the best workouts sometimes, aren't they? And if you're feeling low on energy, don't use dumbbells, use body weight. Right, sometimes we're just not always feeling 100%. Totally fine, respect what your body is telling you. One more, excellent, all right. Knees are soft, walk it out into a high plank. Wrists under shoulders, drop down onto the knees, give me a push up, come up and walk it back. If that's not gonna work for you, walk out because of shoulders, issues, etc. I want you to find a wall and give me some wall push-ups. Okay, no worries. If this is the first time you've worked out with me, this is how I do things. I give options and modifications for all the common criminals in the fitness exercise world that can aggravate shoulders, low back, knees, And push-ups are definitely one of those. When we do the push-up, keep those elbows tucked in a bit. That's why I like to go on my knees so I can keep my form. So keep your form, keep it tight, keep it looking good. Two more. One more. I'm gonna demo our first two moves. Okay, dumbbell clean is your first one. If you've been in my workouts before, we've done this exercise before, we start with the dumbbells pointed down so we can try to get the ends to touch the ground and then we come up and like that, okay? So down, clean them up, and then drop into our squat. Second exercise, abs engage, shoulder presses, now, if pressing above the shoulder bothers your shoulders, I want you to give me a bicep curl instead. See what I mean? Options, no worries, I got you covered. I've been doing this a long time. <laughs> so, I know what typically will need to be uh, modified if you've got shoulder, knee, or low back injuries. All right, let's start round one, dumbbell clean. So start down low, dumbbells touching the ground as much as you can, clean them up to the shoulder, and then drop to the squat, good. Down. So we wanna see if we can get a deep squat right here. Ideally, the elbows are gonna to touch the tops of your thighs. So again, it dependent on how your knees are feeling today, time, or where you are in your fitness journey, but that's our goal. 
Now keep the abs engaged. You might want a staggered stance. Palms are going to face me or together. Slightly ahead of you though, okay, not behind you, and press. So shoulder press, but we're doing it standing, so there's a lot of core involved too. So I want you to pull that belly button in towards the spine. Tighten up those deep abdominal muscles. Bicep curl if this bothers your shoulders in any way. Time. See, 20 seconds goes fast. All right, round two of four, dumbbell clean. Start low, chest up, head up, up. Good. Low, up. Working a lot of muscles with this move. Heart rate should be getting up there. Time. Tighten up the abs, shoulder press, or those bicep curls. Again, have the arms slightly in front. We don't want to go back too far. Ready? Go. See if we can pick up the tempo a little bit. Really feel those triceps and shoulders. Time. All right, we're halfway. Round three of four, dumbbell clean. Ready, start low. Bring them up to the shoulder, drop down low, good. So don't swing through the arms, it's all controlled. Pull the belly button in towards the spine, tighten up the, those deep core muscles. Knees tracking straight ahead, hip hinge, so we've got that neutral spine, time. Woo, heart rate's getting up there now. <laughs> Here we go, ready? Abs engaged, smile, <laughs> and press. Come on, give me a smile, you showed up. You, my friend, are one of the most motivated people in the world. Those that work out at home with YouTube channels, oh my goodness, you are super highly motivated. Todd, you are my kind of woman. All right, final round, then we move on. Dumbbell clean, start low, and up. Time, whoo! All right, shoulder presses. Now we're not resting, okay? We're gonna immediately move into the next two moves as soon as these presses are done. Go! So we're using our chair or coffee table of yours is sturdy for the next move. We have some lunges and then tricep dips. Time. All right, for our lunges, if you're able to, arms up with the dumbbells, or they can be here if that bothers your shoulders, okay? Now, step back to your lunge pattern. Good. Now, if that bothers your knees, I want you to keep the dumbbells down and give me squats instead, okay? I get that lunges aren't for everybody, so I wanna make sure that I do give you options. I don't want you to just be marching on the spot or thinking that I'm leaving you out. Time, woo! All right, now have a seat on your chair. Slide your bum off, good. Now bend the elbows as much as you can and press up, good. Try not to move the bum. So this is moving through the shoulder, or sorry, through the elbow only. irritate your low back so have them down here if you're doing the squats time okay 
Here we go, tricep dips. Now, if these are bothering your shoulders, you can do the elbows up and kickbacks. Go.
Jumping into that squat thrust. Ready and go. Jump up. Good. You can also step back, remember. Bend those knees to get down there, not your back. Time. Okay, one more of each, and then we move on. Renegade row. Again, you've got that option. Here we go, you're in that forward fold. This is your modification. And again, this is where I want you to be if you've got wrist problems, previous shoulder injuries that are still aggravating you. Exercise shouldn't hurt. Okay, it should help heal you, help you feel better. That's why I always give a ton of different modifications. Time. Okay, squat thrust with the chair or no. Last one. Ready, set, go. We're on the ground on our back with the knees bent, dumbbells in hands for the next move. Just getting yourself set up. I want you to think about where you're gonna be. Top, all right. Dumbbells in close to the body, feet hip width apart, press the dumbbells and the hips up and go. So chest press with elbows in tight with a bridge. We're in a mountain climber position for the next move. To modify, I want you to come on up and place your hands on your chair and get in a plank. Time. All right, drunken mountain climbers. This is what they look like. You're gonna twist them underneath, trying to get to the opposite elbow. Modified. Whoop. Hold on, timer's going all crazy. Modified. You're like so. Okay. Wrists under shoulders. Let's go. Modified or full plank. Don't let that head drop. Time. All right. Round two, four. Back to press and bridge. Ready? Elbows in tight. Go. Press. Lower. Back of the arms hit the ground every rep. Palms are facing each other. Elbows brushed by your rib cage. Drunken mountain climbers coming up. Done. All right, so you choose how you're gonna do this. Hands up or on the ground with me. Wrists under shoulders, go. body, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it gets everything. Let's not lie. <laughs> there we go. Third round. Go. So here's the good news. These are our last moves. And then we cool it down, stretch it out, and you walk away with a smile on your face, some sweat on your brow. Time. All right, drunken mountain climbers. And while you get to walk away, I need to vacuum. That's what I'll be doing. <laughs> See, your life could be worse. You could be me. Go. I made a mess. I don't know what I had on my shoes.
time. All right, let's get those mountain climbers done. Wrists under shoulders, be strong with that plank. Look up a bit, go. March it on the spot. Maybe grab some water. Ah, water sounds like a good idea. Cheers. Ooh. All right. Shake out those arms. Let's get into the toe tap for me. So there you go. Your dumbbell Tabata. Check. Done. We're just gonna let the heart rates come down, back to pre-exercise levels. We'll do a couple of stretches and we'll use the chair or if you're using your coffee table as props. Good, and then just side to side, let the arms go a bit. This is about as dancey as I get. <laughs> I am so uncoordinated, it's not funny. Good. Four more here. All right. Feet apart. Inhale. Bend the knees. Bring the arms up. Exhale. Float the arms down. Good. Three more like that. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Get yourself situated beside your chair. Hold on to it. If you don't have a back like I do, maybe hold on to the wall. If you're unable to grab onto your foot, maybe push pause. Go grab an old necktie or bathrobe tie and wrap it around and use that as a prop. Don't spend your money on a yoga tie. <laughs> it's a lot of things you can use at home. If you have children, maybe pay one to hold your leg up. <laughs> a dollar a leg, I don't know. Get creative. Now take this leg behind to stretch into the calf. Press the hips forward, nice and tall on the body. Ah, feel that release in that lower leg. So this muscle and the ankle joint itself can be the limiting factor on some of your squats. So we want to make sure that we keep the mobility up and we lose mobility as we age. In a couple of weeks, I'm going to be releasing a really good mobility workout. It's a long one. It's about 20, 25 minutes. So I don't think it's going to get a ton of views, but I do hope that my regular subscribers know that it was done for you, okay? For those of us over 40 that have noticed a decrease in our mobility and we want to work at it and release. Let's do the other side. That's something in my 30s, definitely 20s, I never would have thought about. Mobility? What? No, I want to run a faster 10K. I want to look good in a bikini for Mexico. <laughs> right? Yeah? But <laughs> when we're over 40 and in our 50s and 60s, that just isn't as important anymore. <laughs> Being able to get up off the couch without moaning and groaning. Now that's a goal. Being able to get down on the ground without, you know, making a thousand noises, snap, crackle, pop in the knees, ankles, and hips. That's a goal. Step the leg back, press the hips forward. Truly does happen, doesn't it? Like age, all of a sudden you think, huh, yeah, I'm starting to turn into my mom and dad. For me, my loving husband, he's 10 years older than me. So, and there's a big difference between 40 and 50. And if you're with me on this, you know what I'm talking about. So when I turned 40, he turned 50. And there's a big difference. <laughs> and now I know 
And I feel really bad because I dragged him around a lot. We did a lot of stuff in my 40s. We did triathlons, hiking, oh, you name it. I dragged him. Release. All right, now bring the leg up. <laughs> Press the hip forward. Now, I'm not trying to say that when we hit 50 and 60 is over. I'm just saying we just slow down a bit. It just happens. And we got to be okay with that. We got to listen to our bodies. We can't push through things anymore. We have to respect what our bodies are telling us. Right now, mine's telling me it needs lunch. <laughs> and other leg. <laughs> Press the hips back. Does not feel good. Back of your thigh there. Oh, love this stretch. So I am so grateful that you showed up and did the workout with me. A couple of things before you leave. First, if you enjoyed it, I would love a thumbs up. As well, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell. I would love to send more workouts your way. And then finally, if you have done the workouts or a few times or on a regular basis, we would love your support on Patreon. It's those women, it's that group on Patreon that allow me to have this channel. So please help support us. I've got the link down below and then there'll be one floating across in a few seconds. Release. You did it! Thank you so much for joining me. We will see you next workout. Mwah! All right. I'm going to go hunt down lunch now.